Identical twins, Marin and Christian, not only share the same looks, as you can see, but from an early age, their lives also mirrored each other. Last year, though, they were devastated when Christian was diagnosed with breast cancer and she was just 23. Marin and I are twin sisters. Um, I was born seven minutes before she was. Christine and I were just thick as thieves. We were just, everything was always about us. The first time that we were ever really apart was when I went to university. My mum, Chris and I decided to go on holiday together and spend a really kind of girly holiday before Chris went to, travelling to China and it was there when Chris um, first indicated that she had a lump. But I just thought, oh, I may as well just mention it just to see if it, they thought it was normal. They straight away said that does not feel normal. First time I went to the doctors, she just sent me away with some evening primrose oil to help with the tenderness and the pain. Then a week later I flew out to Beijing to start my internship. It was one night that the pain in my breast and my armpit got so bad that it woke me up at night and it felt like my boob was on fire. I, I came home, went straight back to the doctors, but this time I saw a different doctor. He just suggested changing my pill just to see if it would make any difference and I suggested that maybe he should check, give me an examination and he said, no, you were checked six months ago, weren't you? About another week or so later, I saw my original doctor and I said, I'd really like a referral and she finally agreed. And um, I went to see the consultant at the hospital. He did an ultrasound and a biopsy and a mammogram all in one day. And on the 19th of February, I was told it was breast cancer. When she said that it's cancer, I just, all of, I just, it was numb. I just felt numb. So I just said, cry now, cry tomorrow when you come up here. But as soon as you get here, it's, that's when we start this fight and we start, we start it together and you need to be strong for me. And Chris and Marin joined me now and you know when I saw you first of all I had to ask which one was the one that's not well yeah, and of course it's you <laughs> but you two of you look so obviously you look sort of like your twins yeah. um, but do you think this has made you even closer than you um, were before? We were pretty close anyway you but, could see, yeah. Um, but yeah possibly even closer if that was even possible. <laughs> You're so young yeah. So, so young. Do you think that was why nobody picked up on it? Yeah, they just kept telling me I didn't fit the profile of mm. breast cancer. I mean, it does generally happen to older women, mm. but it's not impossible for young women. And if I had been told that it can happen at a younger age, then mm. I would have been checking my breasts and I would have been more vigilant. I would have said, look, yes. it can happen. Please refer me. But because I didn't know, mm. I, I didn't do anything about it. And it was only because like you were saying the pain got so yeah. bad when you were away that yeah. you thought, I have to do something about yeah. this. this and it was right. my mum <laughs> as course, well. She sent course, me back. Absolutely. And, so I'm grateful to her. And I know you're really passionate about this. I love yeah. this name. It's Copperfield. 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 And the whole idea is that people do actually, literally, they Copperfield yeah. Yeah. to check themselves yeah. out. And, and especially if they're young like you. Exactly. We just want every young woman out there to know that checking their breasts from an early age mm -hmm. could save their life one day and we know it works because we've had young girls come to us and say I, because of you I've been checking my breasts or I've gone back to the doctors with right. the same symptoms and they've referred me and I've actually found out it's breast cancer so there are millions more young women out there who need to know mm. need to learn this life-saving message and that's what we're doing and we're taking the message to universities this year and we've got boob teams out there who are spreading the message for us and the more we can do, the better. I mean, it's just Marin and I doing it. Mm. So it's it's incredibly hard work. I love this. I love the boob team. <laughs> and I love the fact that it's done and it's cheeky. Yeah. You're being very, very cheeky. It but actually, be, that's really people. good. Because yeah. otherwise, yeah. if you get very preachy, yeah. people are just going to switch off. But if you if you say, here's me and my boob squad, all of a sudden they're going, oh, oh, what's that all about? And they'll be interested in it and they'll want to, exactly. want to do it. Yeah. What's this now? Is this, these, um, this the one that you've got? Yeah, so these are the stickers that we slap on. Young people, so... Thank you. Well, I'm not young, time. sadly and tragically, <laughs> but I shall be honoured to wear one of those. <laughs> That's a great do. idea. It really is. And people yeah. can find out more about it. We'll stick it all in our, our website as well so that they can find out lots, lots more. Mm. But you're living with this. You're living mm. with this on yeah. a daily basis. How are you? You look fine, but how are you just now? Um, I still have cancer. I have a tumour on my spine because it had already spread to my spine by the time I was diagnosed because it took eight months for me to have my mm. diagnosis. Um, but I'm doing really well and... Um, just living each day yeah, as it comes, exactly. really, exactly. and making the most of each day. Mm -hmm. yeah. It completely changes your outlook in life, doesn't it? Yeah, and I, do you know what? I wouldn't want to do anything else now. I love what I do, and I'm, we're saving lives. Mm. And no, you are, a lot very of fun. much. So it must be very hard for you, though, to see your sister going through this. Yeah, yeah, it is. But I think we're just we're going through this together, mm. and we're really supporting each other. 
Thing. And have you been tested? Yes, yeah, yeah. and I, I will get a yearly MRI scan now for right. the rest of my life probably, so just to check, but mm. so far so good. Well, like I said, both of you look absolutely gorgeous, completely <laughs> stunning, but there was a time when you were going through your treatment and I think you just came back from holiday, hadn't mm. you? And it was difficult because then people didn't realise you were twins. You didn't look like each other anymore and that no, must have been really strange. Yeah, she looked, just looked beautiful and bronzed and I was like at the peak of chemotherapy yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. it went from people asking oh are you twins to people going oh are you related and oh I and think that must have been really, really strange it. for the two of you because yeah. you know you've had that all, our lives, all your yeah, lives yeah. Yeah. I mean now you you know you're like I say you are looking so so well and you are very very positive positive girl but it's just that you know when, when you think about it there's so many stages along the way where they could have found it mm -hmm. you know if yeah. but purely because of your age really yeah. that was it and not fitting the so-called profile mm -hmm. because you were outside of it yeah and I mean it's frustrating and it frustrated me at first but it, I don't really let it get to me now because mm. and I hear it so often now now that that word that message is out there I hear it so mm. time time again that girls are saying the same thing and or even not just to do with breast cancer but any symptoms of cancer mm. people are being turned away and I just want people to know that it's your body and you yeah. know what's right for you and the sooner you kind of get to know your body better, mm. not just boobs, the sooner you'll notice any difference and get well, it checked true. out. And, and it is, I guess it is about being informed yeah. because if you'd known, exactly. you know, if you'd known that yeah. this would have happened, you, you would have gone down to yeah. the doctors right away. Yeah, mm. if I'd, if someone like me had come to me and I said, know what you mean, uh -huh. cup of veal, yeah. <laughs> oh, get to know your boobs. Exactly. Then I, who knows, who knows what will be, but. Whatever will be, will be. I think nice. you're absolutely fantastic. I think Copperfield is brilliant. <laughs> I love it. And I'll make sure that we spread the word. I, I really will. And I think you're doing an amazing job. An Thank amazing you. job, both Thank of you. you. Thank you yeah. so, so much for coming in. Keep in touch with us, though. Yes. Let us know how it all goes. Thank you very much. And you can, of course, find out more information on breast cancer. Go on to the website gm.tv and we'll make sure that there's a link to Copperfield. Thank you. Right, after the break, if mornings are hectic in your house, bit of thought for the Brangelina household at breakfast. More from her. Somebody Thanks. getting somebody and somebody put that down and stop screaming and no, you have to wear that jacket. I can't find the pink one. Please just go out the door and...